Hi everyone, so I just really quickly wanted to show you the Magical Blur set. So I'm going to show you both. I'm going to start with Natural Magical Blur. If you've got button mode on your actions, you literally just click it. All my actions are colour coded blue. These are the newborn ones that I'm working on and that's why they're purple. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show it you in real time. It can take a while to play. Uh, the action is doing a lot. Uh, there's quite a lot involved in the action and that's why it takes quite a long time so if you have got a slower computer or laptop it can take a little bit longer i'm showing you in real time so that you know that there's not actually anything wrong it's supposed to take this long um the mega magical blur will take a little bit longer as you will see um so we'll just wait for this to play it's nearly done there we go look at that no halo Magic. Let's turn it off and on. So then if you wait to mask a little bit off the bottom, just make sure you're on your layer mask, go onto your black brush at 100%. Use a nice big brush and then you've got a nice feather to it. It'd help if it was on the brush tool and not on <laughs> the glow tool. There we go. And just mask along. And turn it off and on. Or you can have it all over. So if you wanted to bring any back, when you br use your white brush to bring it back, you can go right over your subject. You're not going to blur your subject at all, which I absolutely love about this action. Okay, let's delete that. And then we'll show you the mega blur. So as I said, this will take a lot longer because we're adding a lot more blur onto there. I use lens blur as I like it to be nice and natural. If you use another blur, it won't be as natural. Um, obviously this isn't going to be as natural it's mega blur it's got mega blur so just bear with it it will take a while but it's still a lot faster than doing it all yourself trust me it's like magic so natural blur is more natural obviously a little bit more blur but it's more of a natural look and then we've got mega blur which is a lot more blur on the image Um, I use a mixture of both to be honest with you I don't use one over the other I use both probably equally. Um, and again, it's the same principle. You just use your black brush to mask off. There are instructions on the action when you play it. I've just removed it off mine. Um, I don't need the instructions. So, But when you press play, the instruction box will pop up. Have a read. It just basically says about masking off um, the image. So let that play. Oh, it's nearly done. Here we go. Oh, one more. <laughs> so I do just want to show it you in real time. I don't want to speed it up. And you be like, why is yours so quick and mine so slow? <laughs> like, I want you to know it is slow because it's doing a hell of a lot. It's adding a lot of blur. It's separating that subject from the background. Just so you can get that natural blur with no... No halo. Magic. And there we go. Let's turn that off and on. Amazing. So, as you can see, we've got this little bit of arm that's been cut off here. Which I'm glad it's done this. Because I can show you how to fix it. And it's literally just using your black brush. And masking that little bit back in. And I mean, if that's all you've got a mask, it's pretty amazing. Just use your small brush. Obviously, I'm being really quick, so I'm not helping. You can just switch back between your white and black brush. And then, what else I want to show you? Let me take a little bit off this bottom bit here. So let's make that brush bigger. And take a bit off there. Okay. So what I wanted to show you is, can you see this little bit between uh, her arm and her hair? And it's just where, it's just missed it a little a little bit. So let's make a background layer. So add a new layer, and hold shift, control, alt and E, or shift, command, option E, if you are Mac. And we're going to go onto the clone tool make the brush smaller hold option or alt and select from here and then just mask it in there and so that'll be the same principle for your image add a layer mask 
and then you can either invert and mask it just there or you can just mask it off the other areas i'll just invert because i think it will be quicker it's just about getting that color in i could have done it with a color but more than likely you're gonna need maybe gonna need at some point to clone it so it's just better to do it that way so i'll just group those together turn it off and on no halo loads of blur no halo so i hope this helps with this action i will do a tutorial on the studio magical blur i don't think it's called magical blur <laughs> but i think you know which one i mean so i will do um a video on that one soon and i hope this one has helped you for now take care everyone